Well, I guess I couldn't have picked the worst time to film. My uh, neighbors across the way are doing some construction, so hopefully you guys can hear what I'm saying. Yeah, just a really quick video today. Just want to show you guys a little project that I was working on. I have a uh, Hubba NX tent. Um, and I was just looking at alternative pitch methods. Now, obviously, this would not be something that you would want to use in any sort of extreme weather whatsoever. <laughs> if there was probably even a breeze, um, you know, a breeze that was too hard, this may not necessarily work for you. But if the conditions permit, this is a way that you could set up the uh, Hubba NX tent with just your trekking poles. Um, essentially, what I did is I set my trekking pole. Uh, down over here, I think I have it set to uh, it's set to 110, but the, these are Z-Pax poles, so these are actually a little bit high. Uh, they're about five centimeters off, so actually Z-Pax, at least the version that I have, uh, 100, 110 is actually more like 105 on regular um, regular trekking poles. But I set it to 110, and then I just adjusted the next part as needed, and then essentially what I did is I just added. A line that went down to stake over there. Now the only the only thing that you have to make sure here with this setup is that you don't go too nuts on the material. You can't really. This is not pulled very hard. That's what I'm saying. This may not necessarily be the best option for you in every single situation if you're looking for just a net tent. But this is certainly an option that you have. And then uh, over here, again. If you have something that you can actually pull this up higher, or let's say you're, you're closer to like a tree branch or like a stack of rocks, you can bring this up higher and bring up more, more area for your legs. But uh, for the most part, I just went and, you know, staked it into the ground right over there. But um, yeah, staked out all four corners, set the trekking poles, and uh, just made sure to not go too nuts on the material. And this one over here, I purposely angled this one outward so that you can get in a lot easier. Um, again, for a big guy like me, I may end up knocking the pole a little bit, but you know, it seems to be holding pretty well overall. But yeah, that'll just kind of give you a little bit more room to get in and out. If you're a thin person, I can't imagine you'll have much of a problem getting in and out of that. But uh, yeah, again, just a quick little project, fun little project. I wanted to see if I could set up my uh, Hubba NX Inner with uh, my trekking poles and looks like you can certainly do it.